So the South Africans up against Georgia, the second opportunity for the local team to make an impression. And uh, well, the drums are rolling and high expectations for the South African effort here against Georgia. No doubt the South African team will start as favorites in this match. And uh, well, one feels that they weren't firing on all cylinders in their victory against the United States of America by 24 points to null in their first pool match. That's the combination then for today's match. Zwandili's stick goes down to the bench and uh, it looks like a pretty good choice as well by Paul True. Also see Kyo Aplon who's been brought into the combination for this match. So just mixing and matching is Paul True. I think he knows what the combination is that he wants for the big matches. And then all the Razzis, many of them for Georgia um, and the Georgia team themselves who uh, have struggled. They lost against Australia by 26 points to five. They really gave everything they had, but just lacked the talent to be able to make a difference. So the Springboks in their familiar green and gold, just the little touch of the ball, all of them before the match, which has become a ritual. And Garth right with me. Garth, they uh, in that first match really just yeah. perhaps didn't get going, but cruised a little bit, but they had the victory that they wanted, I guess. This uh, will be another test for them here with a Fijian referee in this particular match. Yeah, you know, the urgency was there, and I think that which counts. Uh, their first line of defense was good. Maybe they'd want to hold on the ball a little bit more so big support here at Otanikwa Park in George for the Springbok team. Dysel deciding to go with a pretty deep restart. It's an excellent kick, in fact, bouncing in field. So the Georgians, who are a very physical bunch, one must say, just lack the skills to really compete today, maybe. But uh, they've got a few pacemen in their side as well. Well taken up there. Carried by Becca Siklari. And then their playmaker, Kamalazzi. Georgia, of course, got a rich tradition of rugby history over the years, but uh, have failed to really make it on any stages. And uh, not least the sevens as well over the years. And they certainly are getting their hands on the ball now. A little chip kick and the favorable bounce now for Siklari. Well, oh, maybe they heard what I had to say. He was in the left hand picture there. This is uh, the second time that he'd hurt that forearm of his. So, what can Georgia do, if anything? They've really been pinned in their own 22 or there and thereabouts. Once again, Garth, you're right, just competing vigorously on the ground in South Africa and winning the ball too. So they've placed a very strong emphasis on ball possession. Thumping tackle there from Frankie Horn. Advantage. Well, I'm man on the side. Release the player first. Release the tackle player. No, no, no. Just have a look at that tackle. Wow. Release the tackle player first. Thank you. Well, Georgia look like they're going to kick Garth, and uh, really what one is just, uh, they're probably asking themselves, what can we do to stem this tide? Yeah, they probably like to go to that set phase to the line-out. They're, they're very direct players. They like to play the ball straight over. Paul True in your picture now, seeming a little bit less tense as he was in that first game. But yeah, Georgia want to play from the set pieces. They want to go to the scrums and the line-outs, and they'll just drive it up. You know, they'll send it up to, to the fly-off, but very direct. Well, they are a physical side as well, are Georgia. They certainly are trying to make some sort of headway, but gee, South Africa have defended well. On the few Mark occasions it. that Georgia have had the ball. So 
So Zanka, who's just come onto the park, will start the second half for South Africa. kick that uh, Georgia just don't seem to be able to get themselves organized from those kickoffs. We saw it early in their first match as well. Where one or two balls popped into space. I'd be a little bit annoyed about that. But Garth, having said that, as you, <laughs> you know, they enjoy the lineouts. They like the direct stuff. Using the width of the field, Georgia, not without making too much headway. <laughs> South Africa offside. So Georgia will tap and go. Now, an opportunity on the far side. Frankie Horn with a big chase. Tempted tackle. South Africa have got enough pace to catch a runner a really good play there from Zanka he's the man covering as uh, Frankie Horn's attempted tackle slips through the clutches Yebison really got three tries as Robert Yebison three of South Africa's four tries another one belonging to Aplon Georgia never giving up trying. There might have been a knock on there, the little chip kick ahead, so all a little bit messy there for Georgia. It's lacked that patience to hold that ball, Gavin. They shouldn't have chipped that one over the top. They just should have held on to it. They had South Africa's defense in a bit of tatters. If they held on to that ball, sucked one or two South African players in, used the whip, they'd look a lot more dangerous than chipping it away. Core of the day to date is England against Tunisia 42 points to 7 can South Africa get up there not like that they can't not the best of kicks Georgia with Samakarazzi taken on by Kamalazzi back to Kolo Rashid Vili Philip Snyman's on this park for South Africa too. It'll end a little bit of help at the breakdown points. The strong free stater. Nibison with the uh, tackle on Alexander Nicarazzi. Look at the competition for the ball on the ground. Carl Brown really is very aggressive at the breakdown point. Oh, it's Aplon now directing traffic from uh, the fly half position. It's good recovery that from Georgia. A two on one situation, yeah. They just seem to run themselves into cul de sacs quite often, do the Georgians. That pass going astray. Chance Young. Nkoro. Taken on by Zanka. Oh, South Africa had an overlap. There's a real opportunity, but he has another chance. Now, this will show South Africa's character. Can they chase and catch? It doesn't look like they're going to do it. And Georgia will get the try, courtesy of Alexander Nishirazzi. So that'll be considered perhaps a little bit sloppy from the, the local team. Giaplan spools it up. Nishirazzi. Gets his hands onto it and he's a speedster. Don't doubt that. Still a good chase there from you, Buyu Zanka. The kick is not uh, over, so uh, it's Georgia then. 